All right, good morning to you. Going to be another Scorcher, Oklahoma day. What I wanted to show you is I pulled the battery cover off the battery bank, and I want to show you a couple of things in here, and also talk about something that's going on with the inverter. So let's go right in here. I built this cover, I don't know, a couple years ago. Perfect. This is an air or climate controlled battery box with these kilovolt lithiums. I have about 14.4 kilowatt hours in power storage for these batteries. But realistically, I can get about maybe 10 or 11 kilowatt hours if I get a full charge. And during the summertime, it is very difficult to get a full charge because I'm inverting quite a bit of power to run two window air conditioner units. But let me show you real quick down here. Got to do some regular maintenance, check bolt tightness, and also clean out that fan right there. You see there? It's blowing cold air, but it's just not quite enough. And I checked all the batteries using the kilovolt app right here. And I'm running them down to about you know, 10 to 12 percent each battery and they're all consistent and they all show perfect and that actually jives pretty good with what the whiz bang junior is saying 16 percent yeah not bad not bad pretty consistent but the problem i'm having with my system as i'll show you here in a second and i have contacted outback power with this inverter is that it just shuts off. I did a firmware update on the Mate 3 there and didn't help. But what happens is that the inverter will just stop inverting even though the battery voltages are high enough. So I reached out to Outback Power Tech Support and they got back to me, I called them, and then they sent me an email with the firmware updates and some suggestions and then I said hey it's still not working right and they haven't gotten back to me this week did that on Monday so come on guys you need to freaking call back but let me show you exactly what's going on here this may be very difficult to see let me turn the light off here okay so yesterday this is a graph from yesterday I am my lows were about 48 kilowatt hours, but I only used 27 from the grid, so about 20 kilowatt hour offset. But you can see right down here, even though I had good battery voltage, the inverter would just kick on and use grid power. It shouldn't be doing that because my, <laughs> my loads aren't above what the inverter is capable of doing, but it just clicks off and starts inverting. So I don't know what's going on with this inverter, but it never used to do that. And if you know, let me know what's going on with this. But um, there you have it. I just wanted to show you. I'm going to get the vacuum cleaner here and paintbrush and blower and get all this junk out of here and put it all back together again. So... We'll be talking with you later. Hope you're staying cool. And, oh, i got to show you. Got the airfield obstruction light mounted up here. It's a 12-volt conversion with a switch. Check this out. Turn it off, turn it on there. So I don't want any taxiing aircraft to hit my solar stuff, right? <laughs> All right, have a good one. Like I said before, stay nice and cool and hydrated and... Hopefully you have a good one. We'll see ya.